dancer. So when did you become a dance coach? Wow, I actually started assisting other teachers when I was probably 13. Mm -hmm. So I've been teaching quite a while. Um, and then one of my, I, after I graduated college, one of my former teachers came to me and said she wanted to open a studio and she wanted me to help her. And so we went and had a chat with my dad. My dad was like, okay, we'll give this a try. So he put up the walls, he did all the work. And yeah, so I started teaching. I, I owned my own studio at a very young age, probably like say like 22. I grew up dancing. Um, competition was not so big back then. Um, it was actually just actually starting out um, probably in my like teens, like young teen days. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's just grown so much mm -hmm. since then. Yeah. You used to be dear friends mm -hmm. with Abby Lee Miller um, and you cited some kind of jealousy um, as a result of kind of a fallout, potential fallout. Did I, did I say jealousy? Yeah. I did. Um, <laughs> from her point of view that right. you're now yeah. taking over. I mean, Dance Moms was Abby, mm -hmm. right? Abby, this is why this show was wildly successful, mm -hmm. you know? But I don't think it has to be the same. In fact, I don't think people want to see the same thing, mm -hmm. right? So I, I, I can't do the things the same way because I'm not Abby, I'm Glow, and you know, I, I can't be compared to that, nor do I want to be compared to that, but it's just a different time. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. And have you reached out to her at all since making the show? Uh, she actually congratulated me. She mm -hmm. sent me a text and uh, I, I was thrilled because I was like, you know, I could use some guidance here, right? You mm -hmm. know, you did this and you did this. Uh, you, you got eight seasons out of this, right? You were the trailblazer. You were the face of Dance Moms. And so I, after that, I did reach out to her to try to get together uh, and she didn't seem too receptive. So uh, I'm not sure that right now she considers me a dear friend. Um, maybe we'll get back to that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd like to. Mm -hmm. I know that you're also a dance mom yourself. I am. Um, and so, of course, this show would not be what it is without all its signature mama drama. Oh, for sure. And so I was curious how you approached and kind of navigated the dance mom drama throughout this series, especially being not only a dance coach, but a dance mom yourself. I mean, I'd like to think that these moms understand I've been there, right? Um, but I am also the expert. But I got my daughter to a place where she can make a career dancing and doing what she loves. So, you know, it's not always easy to navigate them. It, you know, 40 years of dance moms is not easy. Um, but, you know, I it, there comes a point where you have to lay down the law and you're like, you have to trust me that I'm gonna, you know, and I have the best interest for all the children. Right. So, um, you know, when you when you're dealing with mothers or, or fathers, even in any sport, they're so, you know, they they see their kid as the star. And, you know, I have to put them all on an even playing field right now. Obviously, there are the breakout dancers, but they're also they, they have very different strengths and weaknesses, you know. So it's my job to see that and navigate that.